Hi everybody! Today I'm going to be reviewing this floral cotton cupped overbust corset made by Madame Cher. So here's the front, the side, the back, and the other side. I know some of you have waited a long time for me to review this corset and there were a few different reasons why I waited so long. Um, I actually recorded the unboxing for this corset and the ribbon uh, mesh cincher that I also got from Madame Cher and that was in April of 2013. So it's actually been four years that I've been owning these corsets and I didn't review this one yet. Um, part of it was that I just gained weight so it didn't fit me properly. Another reason was um, the gap in the back not being really even. I was a bit self-conscious about that uh, and a, a couple of other different reasons including you know when I got my car accident and I wasn't reviewing corsets for a little while and it was a lot of different things. But so many of you have been waiting for this review and I felt that I owed you and you deserve to see the beautiful construction of this corset even if it doesn't fit me quite so perfectly. I sent in my natural measurements to Madame Cher so this might have been made for my body. So in that situation uh, the measurements might not be quite so relevant but for those of you who are curious the center front here is 14 inches and at the princess seam uh, from the very top of the cup over the cup and down and that is 16 inches the side seam here is 12 inches and in the center back it is 11 and 3 quarter inches and for the circumferential measurements, when this corset is laced shut, it has a full bust of 32 inches, a rib cage of 26 inches, a waist of 22 inches, and a high hip of 32 inches. So my full bust and my rib cage measurements are about three inches larger than the bust and rib measurements of this one. So that's why I'm wearing it with a bit of a V-shaped uh, gap in the back. Now, I know that um, Many people find that the V shape is aesthetically very pleasing, so I could probably go out to a, a dance or a barbecue or anything wearing my corset like this and not too many people are going to comment. However, I know that you, my audience, um, you're used to seeing me wearing my corsets with a parallel gap uh, and most of the time completely laced shut. So that's why I was a little bit self-conscious, but I still think it's a really beautiful corset and is impeccably constructed. This is the second cupped overbust I had ever purchased and uh, even though I think I ordered a D cup or double D cup in both corsets, they ended up uh, fitting completely differently if you remember one of my past reviews which I'll link up in the cards there or in the description down below. So I know that fitting the bust long distance is really really difficult, um, especially because of so many different bra sizes and sister sizes and as the band goes up then the cup size also goes up even if it, the letter stays the same. There's a lot of different factors that go into this and uh, what I probably should have done was just send one of my old bras over to Madame Cher so that they could measure the the internal uh, measurement of the cup and make sure that it, it would fit because um, you can see here that like when I wear it with a gap in the back it approximately fits all the way around and I, it's still really pretty but uh, my breast actually starts back here and the cup starts here so there's about uh, an inch or an inch and a half there that is uh, not actually in the cup itself so they are a little bit small and I think part of this is my fault as well because at the time that I ordered this corset four years ago I didn't have access to proper bra sizes. I was just wearing the closest approximate sister size which I believe was like a 32D or something. And so um, I told Madame Cher that was my cup size when really uh, I believe at the time my true bra size was more like a 30F and I think that would have definitely affected uh, how they constructed this corset and how it would have fit if I had even known what my true bra size was at the time. But to tell you the truth, I don't even know if that would have been helpful or not because I know that bra sizes differ depending on whether you're in the US or the UK or in Australia. So I don't know if bra sizes are the same between the US and Brazil. It was a lot of different factors, so I am not faulting the maker for uh, the fit not being perfect around the bus because I believe part of that was my fault as well. And I probably should have just mailed a bra over to them just so that they could make sure that it was the right size. But moving on, when you look at the silhouette, it is a little bit more conical through the ribs here and it's cut high over the hip, so it's not very like cupped or shelfy over the hip, but I find it really beautiful and it stops exactly at my iliac crest right there. 
So let's go to the tabletop portion of this review and I can show you the details of this close-up. So here's the Madame Cher corset laid flat and for the materials the fashion fabric is this cotton floral fabric and if you don't like the purple on peach if you want a different type of uh, fashion fabric Madame Cher says that she offers different types of floral cotton and then on the inside here it's lined in this peachy cotton twill. And Madame Cher's label is always on the outside as you can see here just laid down vertically along the grommets. And for the pattern, for the corset part itself, uh, not including the cup here, it's five panels. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, but then the cup itself is another uh, two pieces, so you can technically count this as six and seven. And this corset was constructed using the sandwich method. So uh, from panels one to five, the fashion fabric was assembled together. And then again, from panels one to five, the lining were assembled together. And then they were put uh, together, wrong sides together and stitched down at each uh, seam here and the boning channels were also stitched down so it's double boned on the seams and the bones were placed in between the two layers. Now pulling this corset taut and feeling for a waist tape and also holding it up to the light I believe that this corset does not have a waist tape in it. And the binding in this corset is made from bias strips of matching floral cotton here, uh, neatly machine stitched on both outside and inside. It's stitched in the ditch on the outside there, so you don't see any top stitch on the outside. And it has a tidy top stitch on the inside. I love the modesty panels by Madame Cher because they are stiffened and also detachable here. So this particular modesty panel is a little bit over seven inches wide, it's about seven and one quarter inches wide, and it is stiffened by a continuous horizontal boning here. The boning itself is not steel, I believe it's synthetic, but because it's so continuously boned, it doesn't really warp on you. And as you're lacing up the corset, it stays so flat on your back and it doesn't crumple up on you. Um, like I said before, you can detach it by untying these ribbons here and you can hand wash it if this gets a little grody for you. Uh, and it's finished in the same peach uh, lining and the floral cotton on the outside here. Additionally, there is an unstiffened modesty placket by the busk here. It's about half inch wide and finished in the same floral cotton. The busk is another unique feature of Madame Cher's corsets because you can see that the busk loops here are square instead of the kind of almond shape that you might be used to. And uh, it was said that uh, Madame Cher has busts made locally for them uh, by a specialist, so that might be why it looks different. Uh, but the busk in this corset is about 12 and a half inches long, and it's half inch wide on each side. Uh, so it is technically a standard flexible busk, and it has six loops and pins equidistantly spaced. But another interesting thing about this is when I undo the busk here at the top, and I feel right at the sternum, it's still supported, it's still stiff right up here. And it is so narrow right there because you need to stitch on the underwire for the cut part. So they probably shave down or cut the top of this uh, busk at an angle so that you could uh, support the center front all the way up to the top without uh, having to sew into it uh, when they were installing the cup. So I found that pretty clever. There are a total of 20 bones in this corset, 10 on each side, double boned on the seams here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and that's not including the front busk and not including the underwire here. So I feel that they attract my magnet. These are quarter inch wide spirals, I believe. And uh, the ones in the front here and the ones in the back attract a little bit less. So I'm thinking they're probably flat steels, probably closer to stainless steel because they are uh, a little bit less magnetic compared to uh, spirals here. And there are a total of 24 grommets in the back of this corset, uh, 12 on each side. They are size double zero with a medium flash around them, finished in silver, and they are all equidistantly spaced, about an inch apart, or maybe a little bit more than an inch apart. And uh, they're all holding in really well. Uh, the laces glide beautifully through them. And moving the modesty panel aside so you can see the underside of the grommets, nice big washers here. Um, they're all holding in really well. There are some fuzzies here where the fabric was cut to install the grommets, but uh, there's no damage to the fabric around the grommet itself here. They're all holding in well. Um, there are splits in each of these grommets, but they don't catch on the laces. 
And you guys know that I adore the laces in Madame Cher's corsets because they're made from, I believe, three millimeter wide rat tail. So this is kind of a satiny finish to a cord and it comes in so many different colors. Uh, I can find it really easily here in Canada. You just walk into a fabric land and they have a lot of them. There's no stretch to them. And despite the fact that it has a bit of a satiny feel, it doesn't scar too much, uh, even if it's running along a split in the grommet here. They're very slippery, so I can just tug on the laces and it closes really easily on me. However, it does uh, make tying the bow a little bit more tricky because the, the tying knots and bows are slippery as well. But as long as you know how to tie a proper bow or a knot so that it doesn't come loose over time, that shouldn't be much of a problem. The price for this corset on Madame Cher's website is 920 Brazilian reais. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm probably butchering it. It converts to a little bit under $300 US. And this concludes my review of the floral cotton cupped overbust corset made by Madame Cher. I hope you enjoyed this review and you learned something new. If you did, please remember to click that like button down there as it helps support this channel. If you have any comments or questions about this corset or Madame Cher in general, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer your questions. And if you own a corset by Madame Cher, let us know what you think in a comment below as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye.